Alec Pierce, Scoba Tech Tips, another very timely response to one of your questions. Thank you. <laughs> now, this was actually, a, it actually is a question. Uh, if you look in the comments, you'll see one, one of my viewers out there, I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name. One of my viewers out there recently said, I took my regulators in for service, and, and when I went to pick them up a week later, they charged me $185 to service my regulators. Why? And, and he was quite upset by this. $185. I mean, uh, no matter how you cut it, this is four bottles of rum. So it's it's a lot of money. You know, he's quite right. Is that fair? Is my dive store dealer is he ripping me off? What's the scoop with this $185? Well, first of all, I know $185 is still a whole lot of money. Is it justified? Well, I think that I think the only way to to answer that question is to explain what's involved in the service. And then you decide. I'm not going to say yes or no. I'm going to tell you what's involved. Okay. So here's a quick list. I will show you a close up of this list at the very end. But here is what's involved in servicing your regular. Now this is just your regulator, just your regular the first stage, the second stage, and the safe second. Just that. If you have a computer, a BCD, and all those other things in there, then of course this cost can go up. It is not unreasonable at our dive store, and I've been retired for seven or eight years, not unreasonable to go in and pick up your scuba system, regulator, first stage, second stage, safe second, computer, air integrated computer, and BCD. And, uh, and not unreasonable to pay as much as, oh gosh, $300 for a complete set. It seems like a lot of money. But is it justified? Here we go. Here's what's involved. First of all, you had to have parts. Now, it used to be that dive store owners would buy parts at random. Bits and pieces. They could buy O-ring number four and then O-ring number six and, and low pressure seat number 2005 and so on. Filters and clips. They would buy them in pieces, bits and pieces, as they needed them, as they saw fit. You don't do that anymore. Not anymore. No, very it's difficult to do it, first of all. And secondly, uh, uh, the manufacturer, the people who understand the device, who designed and made the device, they have made the process much simpler. Perhaps a few dollars more expensive, but much simpler. Service kits. It's called a service kit. So now when you bring your regulator in and it goes into the service department, the serviceman goes to the wall and he takes off the service kit for your regulator. Everything that's needed to service your regulator properly is in that kit. Filters, clips, O-rings, low pressure, high pressure seats, everything is in that kit. And that kit typically would be about $60, maybe a bit more than that, depending on the regulator. Most manufacturers, they make a kit for the regulator. So let me give you an example. If you purchase a Sherwood um, Blizzard, the kit for that contains everything needed to service that regulator, first and second stage only, first and second stage only all the parts required. And that kit would probably sell for about $45, $50, thereabouts. Other manufacturers do it differently. Let me give you another example. Scuba Pro, top quality, recognized around the world as one of the very, very best. They do it a bit differently. They have a first stage kit and a second stage kit. And you buy, you buy them separately. That is, the, the, the serviceman buys them separately. To buy those two kits, you're going to pay about, about $45 for the first stage and probably about $30 for the second stage for a total cost of around $75. That's retail cost to you, the diver, of about $75 for the parts for a scuba pro regulator. Now, is that right or wrong? Well, no, number one, it is genuine scuba pro proper parts made for, designed for, manufactured for that regulator. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, why are the two kits? Well, the reason for that is very simple. When you buy a Scuba Pro regulator, you can purchase a first stage. Yes. And then you can decide which second stage from their list of second stages you want, and you purchase the second stage. And then the two pieces are put together to make your regulator system. Consequently, the first stage and the second stage service kits need to be different. If you take in your regulator, and it's a Mark 25, first stage, and a A700 second stage, it requires two kits, one for the Mark 25, one for the A700. The next customer brings in his Mark II Scuba Pro first stage, and his, um, his R2 
250 seconds, you see? So there's two kits. It can, it can add, I'm gonna put that in there. Let me put that in there. I'm gonna say first stage, I'm gonna say, I'll put in $50. This would be absolute maximum. Second stage, about $40. Now you got a safe second as well, don't you? That's part of this. You can't service the first and second and not service the safe second, or in all likelihood, the safe second will free flow or be very hard to breathe. You get the whole system serviced. The safe second is roughly the same price as the second stage. I'm gonna put in $35. Same price even if you bought them, if you were able to buy them, which technically you're not supposed to be able to buy them unless you're a trained service person. And that's a liability. That's, that's not dollars and cents. It's the same amount of money. To the manufacturer, they don't care. Uh, but for liability purposes, they do not want the problem of, 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 of a diver having a problem with one of their regulators that he has serviced himself with parts, proper parts, but with parts that they supplied. Yeah, it seems a little bit dodgy there. Courts don't like that kind of stuff. So, so uh, that's the reason they, they don't like to sell to you. So, but any of it, even if they did, the cost would be the same. Now let's talk very, very briefly about the cost of the service. Okay, well, first of all, <clears throat> there's a bit of time involved. Now to do a regulator properly, in my opinion, roughly, two hours, two hours. Now some rigs take longer. Some regulators, some very simple regulators, some Sherwoods and other rigs take a little less time. But I think, to be fair, a serviceman would have to devote about two hours of his time to properly, carefully uh, uh, service your regulator. That would include a, 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 an initial examination. It's installed, it's checked initially, and he makes notes. Good, bad, what's wrong, what's right. That's before he even touches it. Then there'd be a complete disassembly. He has his table, nice and neat. He takes the first stage completely apart. He inspects every part. He sets aside the parts that are be, to be renewed, the parts that are in the service kit. He sets them aside, and he has the new parts ready to go. Then that part, that first stage is completely cleaned, properly cleaned, hydrostatically cleaned, inspected afterwards with, uh, with uh, magnifying glass, made sure that everything in that first stage is perfect. Same with the second stage, completely taken apart, Renewable parts set aside, new kit ready to go in, clean, inspected, perfect. And then the safe second. So you see, that's a fair bit of time right there itself, making sure everything's all set. Okay, now reassembly. That all has to go back together. So the regulator first stage back together with the new parts from the kit. Second stage, safe second. You've got everything reassembled. Now you connect everything back together. So it's always actually a system again. Good, done? No, 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 we gotta make sure it works. Put all the parts in, we don't know if it works or not. So now it has to be tested. Generally speaking, dive stores do not take the regulator for a water test. It is possible, I did that for many years, but uh, very few dive stores do that. They have instead, they have test instruments that are supplied by, for a dollar, for a lot of money actually, supplied by the manufacturer where they can take your regulator, put it onto a test instrument and check to make sure it's working properly. Inhalation, exhalation, uh, low pressure seating, high pressure, all that, everything you'd be tested on a machine, with large gauges, manometers and so on to be sure that regulator is set up properly and is working properly. That all takes time, plus the test instruments. Get all that done, and now the regulator is ready to go. Because, hey, your reg's ready, you come and pick it up. What else is included? Guarantee. That's right. If you do the reg yourself and it doesn't work, what do you do? Well, you redo it yeah, at your expense. Yeah. If a dive store <clears throat> services your regulator and you take it out for a dive, and something is not exactly right, what do you do? You take it back. The dive store owner, first of all, he apologizes. He says, I don't understand it. Let me check. I'll find out what the problem is. And he takes it and he retests it to see if there's any issue inside that regulator. And then he calls and says, we found a very, very minor misadjustment in it for which we apologize. I'm glad it was not a problem on your dive. If you come in and pick it up, we'll have it ready for you. And of course, there's no charge. Uh, that's called a guarantee which you also get. So you take all of that. The time, the tools, gosh, if that isn't worth a hundred bucks, I don't know what is. Two hours work alone. I mean, service technicians usually get paid a lot more than that. I ain't going to put down a hundred dollars for that. In actual fact, certainly for all three stages, should be a lot more than that. So the grand total, 
So $185, and it may seem like a lot of money, but in actual fact, it's justified. Different regulators might be a little bit different, but I don't think it's going to vary by more than about $25 or so. So just a thought, just something to think about. Maybe there's something in there, you have a question or a comment for me, maybe one of the dive store owners in your area will make a comment about this. It happens, dive store owners make comments all the time on Alec Pierce Scuba, which I appreciate too. Hey, just some ideas, okay? Is it worth it? Yep, proper parts, done right, guaranteed, darn right it's worth it. Anyway, my opinion, take care. Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips. See you again soon.